numerical methods, the sign change method. This is one of the topics that you covered in the initial A2 topics after your AS exams. y is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus x. We can see that the curve goes through the x-axis at this point here, this point here, and this point here. When the curve goes through the x-axis, the y-coordinates at these three points is zero. So the y-coordinate is zero, is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus x. So this equation here has three roots or three solutions. In this example, my focus is just this root here. So ignore the other two, just focus on this one here. Now clearly we can see from the graph that this root here lies between x equals 1 and x is equal to 2. So we can say that in the interval x equals 1 to x equals 2, this equation here has a root. Now without sketching the curve, there is a way of proving that there is, an in that there is a, a solution, a root, in this interval. Let's start with this value here, x is equal to 1. We're going to substitute x equals 1 into this equation here. one cubed minus one squared minus one and all of this will give us minus one so when x is equal to one the y value on the curve is equal to minus one now let's try the other value two x equals 2. 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 2. Now 8 minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And what we can see here is we had a negative value for y, now we have a positive value for y, and if the y coordinate has gone from a negative value to a positive value, it means it's gone through, the curve has gone through the x-axis. So there must be a root there. So what we can say here is sign change, hence root. One of the key things to remember when using the sign change method is that your equation must be equal to zero. If it's not, take all of your terms to one side so it is equal to zero before you start to substitute in values of x. And when you're given an interval in this form, these are both x values. What you're looking at here are, is, is not coordinates. That's not x equals 1 and y equals 2. These are not coordinates. This is just an interval from x1 to x2, from one value of x to another value of x. Let's have a look at an, uh, another example. x cubed minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, so this is already equal to 0, and we have to show that there is a root in the interval x equals minus 2 to x equals minus 1. And that's the order in which you would write these numbers because on the number line, minus 2 is on the left, minus 1 is on the right. Let's start with the minus 2. x is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 cubed minus 2. There's the x value there again. Minus 2 plus 3 is equal to brackets minus 2 cubed 
minus 2 times minus 2 plus 3, and we have a negative value. That's the key thing we're looking for. What's the sign? It's a negative value. And then repeating with uh, x equals minus 1, x is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 cubed minus 2 times minus 1 plus 3. So I've just put in x equals minus 1 here and here. This time we get a positive value. So we have a sign change, hence there is a root in between x equals minus 2 and x equals minus 1. Next example, x to the power of 5 is equal to 3x cubed minus 5. Everything needs to be equal to 0 before we start. Whether you move this term to the right or these terms to the left, it's not going to make much difference. So I'll bring these to the left, so I've got x to the power of 5 minus 3x cubed plus 5 is equal to 0. And the interval, x equals minus 2, x equals minus 1, we have to show there is a root in this interval. Starting with the minus 2, we substitute minus 2 into this. So minus 2 to the power of 5, minus 3 times minus 2 cubed, plus 5 is equal to So we have a negative value here. And then repeating, where x equals minus 1. So put minus 1 here and here. That gives 7. Again, we have a sign change. That's a negative value, positive value. Sign change, hence root. 2 sine x plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. And we have to uh, show here that there's a, a root in this interval. Now, do you notice something that's incorrect on this calculator? This. That should be uh, in radians. Yeah, we, we should be working with radians. And what you should do in the whole lot from uh, C3 and C4 is, unless something clearly specifies in the question that you're working with degrees, just always assume you're working with radians. So, shift set up, there we go, radians, so now in radians, so starting with x is 0, 0 radians, so 2 sine 0 plus 0 minus 2, 2 sine 0 plus 0 minus 2, that gives us a negative value, and then repeating with the uh, other value of x there, 1 radian, so 2 sine 1 plus 1 minus 2. That gives a positive value, 0 0.683. Um, uh, There's a sign change, hence there is a root. Sign change hence root. It's good practice to actually state clearly that you have found a sign change and hence there's a root. You shouldn't just leave your working out up to this stage where you've worked out um, uh, what the equation is equal to by substituting the values in and then saying nothing afterwards.